welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before your holy presence and I give you thanks and praise, Lord, for this week that we are starting. Thank you, Father God, for all of the services that we are able to participate in yesterday for the Sabbath school, Lord. I thank you and I praise you because your presence is felt throughout the world in our services. Father, you are so good and kind and merciful, and we glorify you. Father, I ask that you will be with us in this week. Help us to make decisions that are according to your will. Help us, Lord, to have wisdom and understanding for the things that we need to do in our lives and the paths that we need to go. Father God, I ask that you will be the strength and the refuge for those who are needing rest in this week. Father, that you will touch the lives of those who are suffering and who are going through sorrow. Father, be ever present with them, Lord. Be near to their hearts as you have promised us. Father, for those who are searching for you, I ask you, Lord, that they will find you and that they will know when they have found you that you are God. You are Lord of lords and King of kings. Father, I ask that you will be with us in this devotional today. Help us to take what we need to take and apply it to our lives. Give us the wisdom we need to know what to apply and how to apply it, Lord, so that our relationship with you can be tangible, can be real, and just not something that is so far off and out of reach, Lord, but so very real. Father, these things I ask in your Son's name. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, Nobody Loves Us Like You. It was written by Emilia de Gracia and translated by Nelson Berries. Our biblical base comes from John chapter 3, verses 15 through 17. So says the word of God, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. It is so hard to clean a house, then to turn around a short time later and see it in disarray all over again. How quickly the house needs to be cleaned again. And it feels like it was never cleaned in the first place. All that work last so little time. Those who live in the house promise to always keep it clean, but they're not always able to live up to their promise. Any landlord, seeing how little interest the tenant has in keeping up with the property, would take it away from them. It's similar with our spiritual life. Jesus came into our heart and cleaned it with his precious blood. We must not act like the tenants of the house. We must keep it clean, not only for a time, but for whatever time God grants us here on earth. It is difficult sometimes for those who do not know Christ to understand this, but for that, we are the hands of God, bringing the gospel to souls that are submerged in sin and sadness. We should do our best so that they understand that Jesus Christ died for all humanity, no matter what they have done or what conditions they are in. Isaiah tells us in Isaiah 58, 6, Is this not the fast that I have chosen to loose the bonds of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, to let the oppressed go free, and that you break every yoke? Come to Jesus. He awaits you. Amen. My brothers and sisters, nobody loves us like Christ loves us. Nobody loves us like our Heavenly Father. Even though he sent Jesus to die on the cross and cleanse us of our sin, we continue to sin. 
we continue to dirty our hearts again and again. But God loves us so much that again and again, he will cleanse us of our sin and our wickedness when we repent. My brothers and sisters, God gave us the scripture in Isaiah 58, 6 that says, Is this not the fast that I have chosen to loose the bonds of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, to let the oppressed go free, and that you break every yoke? My brothers and sisters, God is waiting to break the bonds of wickedness, to break the bonds of sin that are tying you down, that are weighing you down. Why? So that you can have a heart that is constantly cleaned, that is constantly pure and free from sin through the blood of Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, bring your sin to the foot of the cross. Repent from your sins and come to Jesus because he is waiting for you. There is no sin that you have committed that he will not forgive if you come in true repentance. There is no path that you have taken so far away that God's love and mercy cannot reach you. My brothers and sisters, rest assured that Jesus is waiting for you. Yes, you, not just your neighbor, not your other brother and sister, not your mom, not your dad, you. He is waiting for you. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory. Oh, how he loves you and me. Oh, how he loves you and me. He gave his life. What more could he give? Oh, how he loves you. Oh, song. And now, my brothers and sisters, we invite you to check out the YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, as we are at the very beginning of the book of Psalm for our daily Bible reading. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children now and forever. Amen. <music> 